Sunshine Valley Farm family, welcome back to another episode of The Farm. If you're new here, you are most welcome. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and also turn your notification bells on not to miss out on any episodes of The Farm. And of course to all our returning subscribers, thank you so much. We really appreciate you guys so much. We really appreciate that you guys are really watching our videos, sharing them with your friends and family. It really makes us happy. Guys, we are right here. Today we are going to be talking about pig farming. I know when we posted a video for pig farming, you guys really showed much interest and most of you left questions. Most of you were really inquiring a lot about pig farming and realize, of course, we have new members in our family who have not really watched different episodes that we have here. But nevertheless, we are right here. We are going to be sharing each and everything with you guys, take you guys through our journey, take you guys through the journey of how you can raise your pigs at the farm and how you can profit everything to do with pig farming and of course with other aspects of farming at the farm. Yeah, I'm really super excited guys. As you can see, I'm in this little pen right here with these little ones, these cuties are the pen here. And today's topic, what we are going to talk about, we are going to talk about how long does it take to raise pigs for slaughter? I know most of you have been wondering, how long does it really take me to make sure that I raise these pigs to when I can be able to earn from? For those who really want to do, start to finish. Start to finish what I mean, from raising them as piglets and taking them for slaughter. That's what we are discussing today. So, from the from farrowing, what you have to know is from farrowing, it takes at least 22 to 26 weeks or six months for you to raise your pigs so that they're good enough for slaughter. So what happens is when these pigs are farrowed, they stay with their mothers for at least three weeks. Yes, at least three weeks or one month. Here we literally leave them at least for a month before we wean them so that they can get accustomed to solid food. Then they definitely give them the grower feed. So that really helps them really mature and also grow faster. So that's what really happens. So that is just the time frame that you could really consider. So by at least five months, okay, like six months, seven months or eight months, these pigs of yours should be ready. If you go beyond that, if you're doing start to finish, then you're going to be wasting a lot of money because that is not going to benefit you in the long run because you are going to be feeding these pigs all the time it's going to you're going to spend a lot of money feeding them feeding them a lot and it's going to get into your pocket and your profits are really being also compromised that's what you have to know so i think that really answers your question and that is what i wanted to discuss with you guys today but of course there are different things that i wanted to share with you guys as well in uh, in regards to raising these pigs in regards to how you can be able to also make profits from having pigs like this. So for you to raise your pigs for slaughter, make sure that you have at least good breeds. Genetics is something that you cannot compromise. Genetics is key whenever you're starting. I know we've sung this over and over and again, but make sure you have the right breeds, go to the right sources, source the right breeds so that you can start properly. If it's not done properly, guys, you are going to mess up. It's going to eat into your pocket and it's going to really affect your profits in the long run. So make sure the genetics that you have at the farm are really proper. The feeds that you're giving to your, to your piglets are also proper because for them to reach to the average weight, slaughter weight, also the feeds matter. Yes. So the feeds that you're giving them should be balanced so make sure that at least you have a balanced diet you have the perfect premixes that you're giving them the concentrates that you're giving them is really enough and also balanced properly because you may spend so much money in investing in the genetics then you forget about the feeds that will be able to compromise on the growth rate of your pigs and by the time it reaches slaughter time you're not going to get the real average weight that you're looking for so most of you may ask their age of at least six months how should they weigh they should weigh at least a hundred kilograms that's what you have to know at least a hundred kilograms by six months so that is when you are really doing proper farming so i wanted to share with you guys that so that you know at least the logics and what you should consider when you are going to 
start your farm, how long it should be able to make profits in the long run. The beauty with pig farming is when you start pig farming, the production, the reproduction rate at which this multiply is really very high compared to other aspects of farms like maybe goats. But for the pigs, what you have to know is the gestation period for pigs is three months, three weeks, three days, yes. That's what you have to know. So the reproduction is higher. You're going to benefit so much if you have two or three pigs at your farm and you have them in within a year's time, you're going to multiply, they're going to grow faster. And as long as you maintain them healthy without any diseases at the farm, that is going to really benefit you better. So I advise you, please do it right source the right genetics, source the right feeds, and also make sure that the pigs right here have enough water because they depend majorly on water as well for their growth, for their faster growth so that you can reach the slaughter weight. So those are some of the things that you shouldn't really miss out because it's very important for any farmer out there to put into consideration. Look at these little piglets right here. They look peaceful, they look very healthy right here. These ones were just when the mom is not there, we are going to be tagging them today. So these are just one month and a few days old that we are going to tag them. It's just because we had um, issues with the tags that we had here, but mostly we do tag them when we are just winning from the mom immediately. But we had a few issues with the tags, so we are going to tag them, then they're going to stay here. They're already accustomed to the solid feeds that they're eating already, and they're looking happy as they are. They are also accustomed to drinking water from the water troughs right here. So this is really beneficial for them, for their growth. And the beauty is when we just win them, we do not just introduce them to any other kind of solid feeds. We started with our creep feeds. I think I have a video on that, how we mixed our creep feeds that helps them at least adjust to the other mixes that we have at the farm for the growers. So when you win them, make sure you give them a special feed, which is the creep feed. From then, then you can be able to give them after like two months or three months, that's when you can be able to introduce them to the grower feed. Of course, we also have the video where I, I did the measurements for the grower feed that can help your pigs really grow healthy and really faster. Of course, most of you have been asking, I have pigs at my farm, but by the time I take them for slaughter, most of them have a lot of fat. What brings about that? Mostly, it's about the genetics that you have at your farm. We have moved to different farms, and we realize farmers having the same issue. Like, they always complain, they always ask us, and whenever we interact with other farmers, they always wonder, why is it that whenever I'm taking my pigs for slaughter, by the time they slaughter, they are very, very fatty. So the feeding formulas that you give to the pigs also matters, and also the breeds that you have at your farm matters. That's why if you're going to stock your piglets, if you're going to stock your pigs that you're starting with at the farm, make sure you have done your research properly on the type of breeds that you are going to have at the farm. Yes, you might ask which breeds you would you recommend? Here at, at Value Farm, we have done four breeds so far, but we have settled with one that we feel more comfortable with and we've really seen that their growth rate is m way much better. We started with the, with the Landresses, Large Whites, Cambras, and Hampshire. I think the Hampshires, you, you noticed they were black and white. Those who used to see like the, red, the, the white belt in the middle, then black, those were the Hampshires. Then we had the Cambras, the Large Whites, and the Landresses, they're all white. So you need to really see the specifics so that you can differentiate which one you are taking at the farm. According to the growth rates, the Cambras and the Landresses were really performing better. So we retain those for our breeding program at the farm. Then when we brought some from South Africa, we brought the Cambras.
breeds that you have at the farm matter a lot and what they're going to give you also matters because with the cambras most of them are really very very lean they're so lean they have enough meat you can even see from the structure i would definitely show you the b-roll you can see from the body size the body score the way it is the muscle they have more muscle than the fats you can find some pigs if you visited so many farms before you see like a pig really fat but you can really see it is just fatty it is just fats on it it's not really something that you could really put into your breeding program because that is going to affect you slaughter time it's going to be too much of the fat compared to the muscle or the meat that you're going to get so that is also that should be put into consideration so that you can know the breeds you're taking and how you're going to benefit from it because it doesn't make sense for you to really take a pig that is going to be fat fatty and not having enough muscle and you're feeding it expensively remember with the feeds right now feeds are very expensive if you're feeding it a lot it's going to really get into your pockets it's going to really affect you so much you're going to spend so much money feeding them you're going to spend so much money on management as well and even also these other things like the warming and all that that's a lot of money then when you're going to slaughter it you're going to get less money in the long run so my advice to all farmers out there make sure that you know the type of breed that you are taking at your farm i would recommend the cambras i would recommend the landresses and large whites as well because they're not so bad but mostly for the cambras that has really worked for us here at value farm i'm talking out of experience out of what we have had at value farm that's what we have and that's what we are concentrating and of course with the breeds that we have really enhanced from south africa that has really helped us so so much and i really hope any other person out there who is going to start can really pick a leaf from what i'm saying right here even when the piglets are born you can see the structure you can see the difference there's a difference between a piglet that is born with a a good breed and that that is maybe maybe a mix you definitely see it from the beginning the muscle composition is quite different even the strength is quite different so if you really focus on making it right straight from the beginning it's going to help you in the long run so for my fellow farmers out there make sure your genetics is really very key genetics feeding water that is what you really need to have at your farm for housing start however simple you can as long as it's very comfortable as we've always mentioned in other videos as well course i would also want to address one of the questions that most of you have been asking do you mix water with the feeds no we do not mix the feeds with the water so that's why we have our feeding troughs separate then also we have our drinking trough separate so the feed that we give to our pigs is dry why we consider dry feed it's because we want them to eat and also drink more as i always told you Pigs love a lot of water. They drink a lot of water. And drinking a lot of water gives them even more energy. As long as you have your nipple drinkers, whereby water is easily accessed all the time, that is going to help them even grow faster. So the feeds is really dry. That's why you see that you, we mix the maize bran, the broken maize with our concentrates and other premixes then we leave them to eat it like that when they are feeding most times you can even notice how they can really that they eat the food like very fast then they go drink the water most of the time because it really makes them really feel thirsty to drink water and of which you need them to drink water even more most of you have been asking well, how many times do pigs really eat only twice a day and depends on the age and the body size that is what determines how much they feed so i think that also answers your question as well if you have any other questions leave them down below i want to always answer all these questions and of course most of you requested for these videos to be a little shorter i hope you've learned one or two things from these videos feel free feel free to leave your questions down below because we are going to be addressing them one by one i really appreciate you guys so much for those who have watched up to this point have you've learned one or two things 
Asante sana. Please tell your friends to also subscribe, share with them. Tell them to also learn something from such videos. And of course, for those who have not really checked out our social media platforms, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please go to Instagram. It is Value Farm UG. Facebook, Value Farm. TikTok, Value Farm. Go see behind the scenes. Go learn something. Get inspired. Get motivated so that you can do something of your own. We are here. We are not selfish. We want to share all this knowledge with you guys so that we can be all together in the same page so that we can be able to grow our farming industry as well because without a farmer people are not feeding we need the food and we need more of you so that we can be able to have more farmers in this field but i really appreciate you guys so much tell a friend to tell a friend till next time bye